I'm Maggie Weekly, and welcome to Teachable Tuesday. And this is Reagan. Reagan, what are we going to draw today? Um, we're going to be drawing a llama. A llama. Why are we drawing llamas today? Because last week was my birthday with my family, and I had a llama birthday. <gasps> you did. Okay. And then, um, should we draw something else with the llama? Maybe a unicorn, because I'm having a friend unicorn birthday. <gasps> Let's put a llama and a unicorn in the same drawing. Should yeah. we do like a birthday party too? Yeah. Why not? All right. So let's get started. What are we gonna need? We need our pencils and markers. And markers. We have an eraser just in case we make a couple mistakes. And you know what? We all make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the llama. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get, get is we're gonna make the llama kind of big. All right, so she fills the page. So we're gonna do a triangle. Can you do a triangle? And we're just gonna do the triangle for the hat. So go ahead and make a big triangle there. There you go, just like that. So that's the llama. And can you do a swirly circle and just mm -hmm. a swirl and a swirl? That's all you need to do. Excellent. All right, and then let's put some stripes on this hat. You could do stripes, you could do zigzags, you can do lines, however you wanna decorate that. It's really up to you. All right, and now we're gonna do ears. Ears are kind of triangles, but they're a little bit rounded at the top. So see, it's like a triangle without closing it. Very good. And we're gonna to gotta to do the same thing on the other side. Excellent. And now we're just going to parallel this one line so they have the inner part of the ear. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, good job, excellent. And now, you know, llamas are kind of furry, aren't they? They have a little mm -hmm. bit of furry. So instead of doing a straight line, what we're gonna do is do these kind of like spikies all the way down, almost like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? It looks kind of like a little Christmas tree all the way down. And they could be very furry or they could be a little bit long and lean. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you just bury the line and that way you have him looking up nice. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna do two eyes, and eyes are big ovals. Let's make this llama have two big oval eyes. And we're gonna give him just a little circle on either side, okay? And then on the other, because we're gonna have him looking at the unicorn. And do one more little circle in inside the middle circle, and that'll be the highlight. Okay, now for the nose, can you make an upside down U? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then can you make like a little hook on the either side, like a little rounded, there you go. And then we're going to connect it. Can you connect it like that? Can you connect it? Okay. And now we're gonna go like this and make like an upside down, look, make it like an upside down you again. Or like, no, a right side you. I was wrong on that. Okay, and then we're gonna echo that same line again on the inside. There you go. And then we're gonna do, can you do a little heart? Like a half a heart right in there. There you go, that's his little tongue. Okay, and now we are going to do, let's give him a little, uh, a little nose and we're gonna make a heart, like a little skinny heart. Just one little and, oh, perfect. How about we give her or him, depending on what you wanna do, a little necklace. So I'm just gonna make a line right across Okay, and you can do stars, you can do circles. I like hearts, so I'm going to do hearts all the way around. And so make how many ever you want, and as big or little as you want. Oh, he's a cute one. Very nice. Okay, so we're ready for the unicorn. So here we go. So we are going to put him right next to it and see where the eye line is. Mm -hmm. So your eye line is right over here. So that's where we're going the eye to be. So how about we draw the eye first, okay? So that way we get them looking. So you can do it like that or you can do it like that. Okay, so great. So if we do it circle, that's no big deal. We're still gonna make the little circle. There you go, and a little highlight, do a little highlight. Excellent. Okay, now from the, from the eye, we're gonna move just a little bit farther away, like this, right here, ready? And we're just gonna put a line right here. And then we are going to do a sideways C. Oh, well, no, it's a C. See it? All right, then we're gonna come all the way up. 
keep going go all the way up bring it all the way up there you go and give her just a little line right there that's a smiley and then can you make a V from the top to the bottom to the, there's your V and then make a little heart for the tongue there you go all right and now let's make some ears so right where the eye is just go up a little higher and we're gonna make one triangle but don't close it that's one ear and then inside that triangle do another triangle okay and now we're gonna make a horn so the horn is a long skinny triangle long skinny triangle nice okay and then have another triangle right behind it because that's the second ear and then a little triangle inside there okay so now look we're gonna do a squiggly all the way around it's almost like like weird little M excellent now let's do the hair the hair is just an arc and connected there you go. Let's do another one. A arc and connect it. They're almost like little triangles. And let's do one more. An arc and connect it. Okay. And so from here, we're going to go and connect it all the way to the end of the paper. There you go. And now we're going to squiggle some hair. One. And let's, whoops, I lost my little point. Two, three four and five just squiggly very nice okay now right here for her, her little muscle we're gonna just close off like a half circle and give her a tiny little like droplet right there looks like a little water droplet that's her little nose okay and then from the mouth right here okay you're just gonna go there until the end of the paper. So just like a nice long line, there you go. Very nice, and I think she should have a collar as well. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just gonna do it here, and then just give it as thick or as thin as you want it. And I'm going to do little circles, but you could do whatever. You could do diamonds. There you go. Little circles, diamonds, hearts, whatever you like. Okay, very nice. Now let's decorate it like a party. So up here, mine, I've, I have a little bit taller. You have more room, which is, that's no big deal at all. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do this line right here, right all the way up. Just make it however you like. And let's make a couple triangles. Yeah, we got it, <laughs> I'm pressing really hard so we can see in there. So do try upside down triangles all the way around. Just do as many as you like, as big or as little as you like. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. Because you know, sometimes there's lots of them. There you go. Very nice. It looks more festive when you have lots of them in there. Good. And then inside that triangle, let's do little triangles. Because that gives it two colors for those of us that are gonna color it. Very nice. Nice, and so how about we do a couple balloons over here? So a balloon is just a big circle, but it kind of meets in the on the bottom there. So just like one big circle, excellent, with a little tiny thing, there you go. And let's put a string on it, good. And let's do a little one, and you're just gonna do a half a circle and then put a little string on it and come down. And then we could do one more right here on the end a little circle and then connect it good and how about we do one present in between them like that unicorn is bringing the llama a present so we're just going to make one big box so it's a square that's a simple shape isn't it mm -hmm. okay and we're going to connect the square right there okay and how about we put a big bow on it so two lines and one more and then a circle right there on top we're going to do the bow and then like a triangle sideways triangle and a sideways triangle all right what do you think mm -hmm. i think it's great how about we sign it how about we sign it where would you like to sign it? you're gonna sign it up top i'm gonna sign it right here all right so what do you think
good. You think it's good? All right, so let's stop the video right now and then you can join us for part two where we're gonna color it and we are going to go get your um, colored pencils, whatever colors you want, and we are going to color these two. All right, say see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Hi, and welcome back to Teachable Tuesday, part two of our llama and unicorn. and unicorn party. This is Reagan and I'm Maggie, and we are going to color our drawing now. And what are we using? We are using markers and colored pencils. And colored pencils. So what, is she, what should everybody do right now? They should pick their favorite colors and follow along. Exactly. So let's get started. So we started with the llama, so let's start with the llama. So we are going to start with the hat. And what we're gonna do is just go over all our all our lines, okay? So we are going to just go over each of the lines that we had done, okay? And then our little swirly, swirly kind of there. And then let's do your lines. There you go, in your ears. Okay, and take your time. This is where you can correct if some things you didn't like so much when you did it in pencil. And now you can actually fix it. And then do your little furry fur. Mine looks like almost like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and yours is like all fuzzy. Mine has spiky hair and you can make like rounded hair. You know, you're the artist, so you can create however you like because that's part of the drawing process. Okay, and there's Reagan. She's got her fur in. How about let's do the eyes now. We're gonna make these circles and then I'm going to do both. And then you're gonna do an inner circle and one more. Or you could just fill it up and just leave a little, a little white on there. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do too. Then we're gonna go into the little nose and this part is fun because this part, we are just going over all the work we did in pencil. We did in pencil first because this is a very big drawing. It's huge actually. And you can make many mistakes. Exactly. And so pencil gives you that ability to not worry about the mistakes. You know, you can just have fun coloring and erase all you want without having any worries. And this part is the fun part, which is the coloring part. Look at you, you're going fast. And mm -hmm. I like my hearts, so I'm gonna do hearts. You can color the inside of the mouth and make that black in there because it's like a like a little hole. And then the eyes, did you color you did color them in? And how about stripes on your you made your little stripes? Okay. We got our llama all the way done. Look at how cute. You did a great job on that. Okay, how about let's do the the unicorn now? And so we're gonna go right for the nose and again you can start wherever you like you know because you already have it drawn now you're just coloring and then you color the inside of the mouth the little tongue is like a little heart i like adding lots of hearts in all my drawings and she's she's doing now the horn i'm getting the horn as well and i'm making a squiggly line Look at you, making your triangle ears, one triangle inside, another triangle, and then the hair. The hair are kind of triangles as well. They're just a little bit more controlled. Now I'm just gonna go like that, and I'm gonna close off the top. And then, you know what? I decided to change the hair a little bit, but I'm just going on like that. And now, now for the eye, of the unicorn, I'm gonna make mine a girl. So I'm gonna put eyelashes on mine. Right here, I'm going to make the top line a little bit thicker, okay? And I'm gonna give her some little wings, so see? So I have a little boy llama and a little girl, and a little girl unicorn. Okay? And then I'm doing the body. Wow, you're like cranking along here. Reagan, so what did you do for your llama birthday party? Well, I swam in the pool. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what else did you do? Um, I um, went to go get some Diet Coke from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the presents now. Yeah, we had lots of fun swimming and 
and she got a ton of Even presents. Even you got in. I did. I love to swim. Okay, and so for the bows are usually like a sideways triangle, and you can do like a little, like a little teardrop right there. See, and that kind of makes it. And you can also darken this line here. So see, so it makes it a little bit more dimensional. There you go. Okay, let's do the party decorations now because they're at a birthday party. So I'm coming around and it's okay because you know what? We have an eraser. So if you don't hit that line perfectly, that's no problem. And then we did triangles inside triangles and it makes it really festive. So we're gonna go in, triangle inside a triangle. You can make lots of them or you can make little ones. There you go. Very nice, Reagan. That's excellent. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, and now let's make uh let's make the balloons. Okay. And we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here, and right there, and right there. And now let's go ahead and put your name in marker two, so we'll finish this part of it, okay? So this is where you take your eraser after you do this, any eraser. Okay, so we're back, and now we've got our all our colored pencils. And Reagan, what are your favorite colors? Pink blue and uh, purple and purple so we have a lot of those colors right here because that's what we're going to be using for this fun fun party um so we're going to start the neon yeah and so let's just talk while we draw and you know you go ahead and start wherever you like because the coloring process i'll start the hat okay so she's going to make her hat and of course you guys can use any colors you like any of them and all we're going to do is just Fill in the colors. And this is where you're gonna take your time. And express yourself. Exactly. What do you like to paint um, or draw? I like to, so what me and my friend like to do is we'll have like a challenge we do. Yeah. And our challenge is we have to try and draw each other. Oh, well that's excellent. And do you like doing that? Yeah. Yeah? That's the first thing. We're like, what should we do today? And then that's what she'll say. She'll say, let's try and draw each other. Oh, how cool. Now, when you're coloring, you can go directional lines, okay? Directional lines mean that if a hair falls up and down, you're gonna color up and down, okay? Like this is going kind of horizontal. So you can make, let me see, what are we? We're gonna do a hot pink, all right, or an orange. So I'm gonna color and make it this way, all right? So we're just coloring sideways. And sometimes that really helps to make things look more dimensional. Okay, so you're gonna fill in. So, you know, Reagan's favorite colors are pinks and purples and teals. So her birthday party is gonna have a lot of these same colors. So what are your favorite colors, guys? That's what you should put into your drawings, you know? And because we did our, our dark lines with our marker, even if we get a little bit too close to the lines, it, we'll, won't, um, it won't show. It won't show, that's exactly it. Now, if you're using markers, that would be a little different, right? Mm -hmm. It would be a little different because you would cover a little bit of it. So we're just having fun making all of these colors. And what I'm doing is to save time since we're sharing colors. Um, I'm using, I'm picking up the yellow and then I'm seeing where else do I want to put my yellows, you know? So then that way, Reagan, if she needs the yellow, she has it available. And just fill it in all the way in. This is a super fun, I'm looking for my red. I have red hearts, but you can make those hearts any colors you like, you know? So your unicorn party is your friend party, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you always have two parties? Uh, not all the time. Not all the time, just some of the time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, I like doing little tongues to be hearts because it just kind of adds a whole lot in there. Now look wait, at my hair. let me see. Oh, look at you. Oh, you got all the hair done. Nice. Um, and so, can I borrow the purple over there? Okay. And I hope that if you have your friends or your, if you have brothers or sisters, 
that you guys share your crayons. And also what you can yeah. do is you can make color in the eyes. Yes, look, that's a good idea. Show this, like Reagan came up with a great idea. See, instead of just letting the eyes be one color, black, she added a little touch of blue. Yeah, I like that idea too. There's Maisie. I do. The one, the video we made last time. I know. Yeah, last week we had Macy on the video, and this week, so it's all about Reagan, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These last two weeks, we're visiting here um, in Illinois. This is where you live. How long have you lived here? Um, almost my whole life. My whole life. How old are you right now? Um, I'm nine. Nine years old. Wow, you're getting two. You're getting too big for too fast, uh -huh. aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Making a pink nose. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that too. So I'm right now like finding where all my blues and normally we, I do uh, a sketch before it's like a road map. So I'm adding I, some shading. Oh, you're adding shading. Okay. Oh, good. See, she knows what she's doing. If you press hard with a pencil, you get a really Chromatic. Can you say chromatic? Chromatic. You know what chromatic means? What? Chromatic means an intense color. So you get a brighter color. But if you don't press hard, like in the little pink nose that I just did, then um, it doesn't, uh, it's not as chromatic. So see, this is my pink color. I'm pressing really hard here and I'm getting a bright color. Here, I did very gentle. And see how soft that is? So that's how you can have one particular color and make it look different on all of them. And you know you, what? We can make little pink cheeks on this on this little llama. I think I'm going to give them pink cheeks. Mm -hmm. That wasn't in my original one, but I, I think that kind of looks nice. Oh, you've got your gray. So you can make your llama gray or brown. I'm giving him his shadow too. Oh, you're giving him a shadow? All right. I'm going to make a pink balloon. And yeah. So now maybe do you think you'll teach one of your your friend Emma mm -hmm. how to draw? I'll look um, up the YouTube channel and I'll show you. Yeah, and you guys can follow along. That's what's so fun about it. I'm gonna make pink ears for here. It's very relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> to to draw. All right, I'm gonna keep this pink, and then yeah, I'm gonna do gray as well. And I'm I just, a unicorn over the cheek. There we go. I'm just gonna do one side, like there's a little shadow. This is a, a white llama with a white unicorn. And then some gray shading. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm making the whole entire box pink and then the ribbons are blue and then the bow is purple. Ooh, I like that idea. I'm making mine purple and orange. Why not? And maybe I'll give it a red bow so there's lots of color in that. <laughs> and then over here. You know what would also be cool? What? If you put one color for the middle and then you use another color to color in the sides. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah. You do love to draw, don't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's really nice. I drew when I was your age all the time, mm -hmm. and I became an artist when I got older. And now I want to teach everybody how to draw. I almost forgot his party hat. Ooh, party hat. And I got a teal. I'm going to grab the teal from all the way over there. I like the unicorn having like super colorful. Oh, and I, I'll do this teal right here. So we just go around. What, what do you want for your birthday? What are you asking for? Phone. <gasps> what? <laughs> you want a phone? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you think you'll get one? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're hoping you do, but you're like, nah, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so what's your second thing you want? I don't know. You don't know yet? Mm -mm. You have a lot of cool stuff, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else? <gasps> wow, you went fast. I have one more thing to do, I think. Oh, Ooh, you know what we almost forgot? What do you forget? We almost forgot some confetti. <gasps> Confetti, that's a great idea. What else do we need that we are forgetting? Hmm. You are super fast. 
think I have competition here. <laughs> I'm gonna make the rest of this right here. Look at how cute. This is a fun, fun subject matter. I'm so glad you, t you told me to draw these two. Reagan, you inspired me. Yeah. Ooh, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do confetti and I'm gonna do it yellow all over like, yay! I'm using different colors. Oh, that's a good idea too. I mean, maybe I'll do that too, if you don't mind. We'll get that idea. And all it is is like little tiny, instead of making the whole background a color, what you do is you use kind of bright colors and it's almost it becomes like a little background without having to fill it all in. And see how fun, this could be a birthday card you guys can send out. You know, maybe you have one of your friends is having a birthday party. Wouldn't they love to have a picture like this as a uh -huh. present? I think that would be really neat. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope you had fun drawing these two really cute illustrations. I am so impressed with yours, Reagan. <laughs> You did a phenomenal job. This is a hard illustration, you know that? We did a lot of stuff. We have a llama, we have presents, we have unicorns, we have streamers, we have balloons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I told you we're gonna do all this, what would you have said? I would have said, wow, I can really do this. Yes, you can. Everybody can draw, you know that? Everybody can draw it by simple shapes. What kind of shapes did we use today? We used triangles, circles, and other shapes like hearts. Yeah, hearts and squares. So everyone can draw. And I hope that you tried this drawing today. Thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>